Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night NXT review. I guess there's no more WWE Evil episodes. Um, so last week apparently that was the last uh, the the last episode like the WWE Evil, and they ended it with the Miz. Really? So you end your series with the Miz? That's the best heel apparently, or modern day? He was just like that's apparently a good way to end your documentary series of like season if it's season one or whatever. Like what? I don't know, but like I'm not sure if it's the ending. I I don't even know or care, but already I didn't give a fuck about that. Well, so doesn't help that two straight weeks. After NXT ends, I'm greeted with the Miz. So Miz TV has Miz TV now, uh, or or was it what Miz and Mrs. You know, I don't even know what season it is now. But yeah, that's what I was greeted for after NXT ended. Great, just great. Anyway, so yeah, like, let's just do this review, shall we? Oh, Gravity Coke Cola, is drinking Miz fight with the Skull Show shit. At least with the WWE Evil series, I actually was intriguing to watch, though. So. Oh shit, oh shit. Because I thought, like, weren't they supposed to do... I don't even know if they did everything. But, like... I don't know. I just... If that, like, because there's no more WWE Evil episodes, and now we're going to just... I don't know, I'm just going to start the review early, so. Lately, I've been doing just reviews, like, just an hour after, so. Anyways, so here's a quick NXT 2.0 review. There's nothing really much happened, but hey, we're going to talk about this, okay? So the show started with the... Um, Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams basically saying yeah, how to go win, you know, come on Hayes, man, you know, he's gonna win that towel back again, man, at In Your House. Yeah, so the, apparently the next event is In Your House. What, they're still doing In, in Your House, the takeover shit, whatever. Whatever. Uh, Carmelo Hayes and Solo Sakia defeated Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. Then we get a video package of this chick named Tia Hale. She says she's going to graduate from high school and will soon take over the NXT Women's Division. I had to make sure she was 18, and she was 18. And hey, she's cute. She's wearing a big black couch. You're 18? Good. We're not too off this age, but like I'm like already 20, so yeah. Lash Legend defeats Tatum Paxley to advance the next round of the breakout tournament. No one fucking cares. Uh, yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch, you know, I'm la I'm a legend, bitch, mm-hmm. I'm ratchet as fuck. Braun Breaker comes out, you know, he wants to fight. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a bat, you know, he's cool, but, like, you know, really? It's just like, oh, I don't want to fight, like, okay. It's like, you know, he says, you know, if we, you know, how about, how about we just fight right now? And then John Gacy basically points out the obvious, like, why would I want to fight you, blah, blah, blah. And then he says if Braun loses by disqualification, he wins the NXT title. Like, so really, we're going to have this cliche where, oh, this match will happen again. So we're going to get the same match, but it's going to be, de it's going to be, uh, I don't know. It's going to be, what, DQs? Really? I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I was like, you know, why not? Yeah, sure, this is interesting, but then it's not because, really? We're going to have DQs in this match? But whatever. It is what it is. So, and Braun Breaker, I mean, not Braun Breaker, Joe Gacy, you know, I thought this guy was a social justice warrior, and now he's becoming Bray Wyatt type of shit? Like, whatever. I don't know what to tell you. It is what it is. At least he has some character, but, like, come on. Viking Raiders defeats the Creed Brothers. So, yeah, we're just basically a match we've seen before, and, like, who really cares about this match? Grayson Waller defeats Andre Chase. No one really cares, or whatever. Um, Roxanne Perez defeats Kiana James to advance the next round of the tournament. 
The Canadian James chick looked like a porn star. I would have rather her win, because at least she was like trying to look hot or whatever. Roger Strong proposes, proposes a match of himself and Damon Kemp versus Pretty Deadly. Yeah, this is Pretty Deadly to me. No one fucking cares. Wesley versus Nathan Fraser ends in a disqualification as Ron Wagner comes out that attacks both of them. Basically, I realized that basically they're trying to make Von Wagner, I guess, the next Lesnar in a way. Because how he has Roderick Strong. My, I had a friend over, and he was like watching, like he came over during this shit, and we, we were watching a little bit while we were just chatting. And he was like, was like wow, is this guy, wow, they're trying to be, make him like Brock Lesnar? So yeah, that's basically what I guess they're doing. Um, yeah. Here's what's announced by NXT 2.0. Apparently, Braun Breaker and Duke Hudson have a problem. Like, Duke Hudson didn't like him getting interrupted or whatever. So, this leads to a match with them, whatever. Uh, Manny Rose versus Indy Hartwell based on what happened last week about Indy. Like, apparently, like, you know, me, she mocked her. And the breakout tournament continues. Blah, blah, blah. And the main event, which was the only, probably one of the legit things that happened tonight. Santos Escobar de defeats... Tony D'Angelo after hitting him with brass knuckles. Um, I didn't really care fuck much about the match because, like, I don't know, just with whatever, I was just with my buddy, you know. I guess the match was really that like exciting much, but it was it was not a terrible match, you know. And honestly, me and my like I told my bud, you know, yo, this is actually kind of cool because it's like cartel versus mob type of shit, and that, oh yo, that's actually pretty cool. So if anything. This has potential. Like, if they did this on a main roster, it would have been fucking great. It sucks that this is being wasted for NXT, you know? This would actually be something cool that you could do on the main roster. And people would actually gravitate to this. Because, you know, who doesn't like... Like, if you watch Goodfellas, if you watch Goodfellas, if you watch The Godfather type of shit, you know, that's some kind of cool shit that you can like. And then freaking, you know, Mexican cartel type of shit. You know, that's kind of cool. I understand this is something for NXT, but, like... You know, here's the thing. If you just redo this, like, then you gotta get smart. It's like, oh, they're just ripping off the NXT thing. Like, it would be nice. Like, why not save all these great storylines? Because, again, this is like, this is the problem with NXT, man. I understand that, like, you know, we gotta try to have something entertaining. But, like, this is probably why NXT should never have been part of the, uh, part of television. Because, again, this is now a TV show to be on TV. It's supposed to be developmental. But, like... Now you gotta try and make it still, like, main roster type of shit. Like, who's gonna really... I don't know. This is why, honestly, you gotta save these big things to ha that's gonna happen on a main roster. But what can you really do? I, I don't know. They, they have a contract where they're gonna have to do, you know... They have NXT on fucking TV, so... But just, like, all the potential good shit that they can do... It, it should be on the main roster. But... Whatever. Then the, the show ends with joke. Yeah, so basically there was a little brawl with the cartel people and the mob people. But then distraction. The Santos Escobar wins by using the brass knuckles, which is kind of alright. You know, that's how you, you know, that's some good shit. Uh, Joe Gacy then, um, towards the end of the show, there's a very, uh, Joe Gacy says that he has predicted Braun Breaker's every move and that Braun's lack of control will give him the full control of the NXT title, NXT 2.0, and the world. Basically, he's saying that he got the whole world in his hands type of deal. So he's acting like Bray Wyatt, I'm guessing. Again, what happened to the SJW character? Why is he now... I I'm the whole world in my hands, you know? Really? And he has, like, fucking two people who are, you know, his body is basically, you know, people to help him. So it's basically the Wyatt family all over again. I don't know. I don't know to tell you, like, do I hate the guy? No, it's just, where's the SJW shit? Why not mock the SJWs by actually fucking being SJW? I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. Apparently he has supernatural powers and, Okay. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Um, so that was NXT for you. Just keep it real, you know. Yeah, it's. I'm sorry, the show wasn't really that great. Again, just, it's just whatever, you know. It just really just. Oh, we got. You get to know these guys if they're ready for the main roster. But like, no one's gonna watch this shit. And it's. If you should train them, but you should definitely train them to be ready for the main roster and try to get them ready for the main roster and do the vignettes and that way they can get over. I'm worried, like, I, I'm just worried, worried, like, when they actually call up these people. They gotta do vignettes for these people. Like, 
the reason why Tony D'Angelo worked when he came in because he did vignettes and people already cared. You gotta do vignettes when he goes on the main roster and for everybody. But whatever, we'll see what happens there. That's NXT, NXT for you. NXT just whatever, all right? I'm done. I'm tired. Um, yeah, it's just it's really just NXT to feel throwaway, you know. And I don't know, Braun Breaker. He he does seem like he needs to be in the main roster soon. But like, obviously, we're already ruining him. I'm not saying he's terrible. It's just like, what is he really doing? That's like intriguing, you know. But it, it like, it's not bad. It's just. Oh, okay. He's just Braun. He just fucking Scott. Uh, Scott Steiner's his nephew. Rick Steiner's his son. And oh yeah, yeah. I eat people, or you know, it's fine. But. You gotta do something. You gotta make him intriguing, man. Alright, don't say people. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. NXT. It's pretty fucking boring.